Welcome back to the Good Things Utah Kitchen. If you love carrot cake, you'll love Charlotte's dessert even more. She joins me now to share her carrot cake trifle recipe. I feel like you upped the carrot cake ante. Yes. With this look at what she's making. I, I, so I'm a huge fan of carrot cake. I saw you on the show the other day. You Talking said something about, about it. I'm like, oh. Well, because I make three desserts, and one of them is carrot cake, and yeah. I layer it up and all yeah. of that. But, I mean, trifle? I feel like yes. mine's going to be stupid now no, because this not, looks no, so no. good. I love the idea of taking something familiar, like carrot cake, and changing it a little and just making it fresh and new. Well, you always make things really delicious, Charlotte, but you also make them pretty doable for people. That's yes, what I like, too. Because I start with a box Hello. cake. Hello. Box cake mix. So, okay. But a carrot cake box cake mix doesn't even have real carrots in it. And so it I, okay, <laughs> it's um, it's very good, and I love that it gives you it gives you a good start. So I wanted to make my cake a little bit more dense and more homemade tasting, mm -hmm. and so I added real carrots first of all. And did you get the? Did you shred them up like yes. real little? So shredded carrots, a cup of shredded carrots, and then an extra egg. So the normal um, box cake calls for three eggs. I add an extra egg because it makes it a little more dense, a little more homemade. Does it really? Yes, okay. it does. Then, one more thing, I replace the oil with applesauce. I've heard that that makes it really, really good. It really does. So it, so the, the egg gives it more density, but the oil is replaced with the applesauce, so it also gives it a light flavor. It's, Ooh, it's like just, a little fluffier. It's just good. <gasps> it's just good. Okay, and so then you bake it normally? Yeah, just bake it. And, and did you just do one? Yep, just one. And how many extra carrots should I add? You need, it took about four large carrots that I shredded in it. You just need a cup. Okay. So just a cup. It's All right. pretty easy. And then Yum. the pineapple. And what's in this? Because so. it doesn't look like just regular pineapple. It, it looks not. like delicious pineapple. So it's pineapple tidbits, you know, the cans yes. of them. Which like, makes, over that there. makes it easy. Okay. And then you just put it in a saucepan with uh, brown sugar mm. and cornstarch to thicken it up. And mm -hmm. it's so easy. You just let it boil a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead Taste and a little bit of that. The first time I made this, I used mm. white sugar, and I did a little bit more, and it just wasn't right. And so I just I'm sorry, like it with the carrot cake, brown sugar, it just, it just screams brown sugar. It gives it a richer taste, and mm. it just needed that extra mm. That's kind of yummy as a snack on its own. I know. The brown sugar pineapples. And it's try that. put that over ice cream. Over that ice cream. So oh, that would be with caramel sauce? Yes. And whipped cream? Yes. I mean, that's a different segment Yeah, we'll go ahead yeah. and do later. Yeah, we could do, <laughs> totally do that. Okay. And then our cream. So our cream layer, and you know I brought oh, that. Oh, because you're a Texas girl like me. Yes. I actually have two we, of these now, just in case I'll use one. This is, like, amazing. What kind yes. is this? So this is real whipping cream. Mm-hmm. And you whip that in one bowl. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's so good, Charlotte. That's really good. Yeah. Okay. And then you get, so one bowl, you have your whipped cream. You beat it until it's got stiff peaks. And then another bowl, you get cream cheese, sugar, um, cream cheese, sugar, vanilla, and salt. You whip that together, and then you fold them together. So it's so like that's a, what that is. Yes. That whole thing. I was just yes. going to say that's not just regular whipped no, cream. No, and this then you is, fold them together, and it's just this is like this is heaven. Yes, this is another thing you could put over ice cream. I know. Let's just mm -hmm. it could just do a whole other segment with these ingredients. Just in well, I could way. absolutely just eat that with a spoon. <laughs> yeah. And then you it's top it with Biscoff cookies. You know, like the, oh, I love Biscoff cookies. You know the cookies. cookies you get like on the airplane. They're kind of gingerbready, right? Yeah. So, but it has more flavor than like a graham cracker. So Should I taste it. Yes. I love that you, you let me because this yes. is how I grew up in the kitchen. My grandmother and my mom and would just let tasting me tasting and helping eat stuff, and, and it makes you excited to put it together. Yes, exactly. That's mm -hmm. why. That's how I learned to cook. Is that Texan? Yes. See, just in We're the kitchen. We're good people. Okay. Making good old food. And then, so there's that. And then that's what we're going to top it with. So okay. those are all the different ingredients and how we're going to assemble this. Let me show you. Okay, we're, we're going to take a break in yeah. a second, and she's going to show us how yes. to do it. But it's going to end up looking like this. Look at that thing. It's beautiful. How long huh? does that take you to put together? Oh, gosh, maybe 30 minutes tops to do all of this after the cake is baked. Not okay. even that, really. And the cake's so easy. It is very easy because it's a box Did cake Did you put mix. your carrots in a blender? No, but you can use, there's a bunch of different things you can okay. use. You can use a box crater, get your okay. kids involved. Well, I just like, didn't know if I could get the bag of the already shredded guys. You could, totally could. <laughs> and just throw it in as there. As long as they're little. You don't want huge, big pieces of carrot, but you could totally use those. I okay. didn't even think, see, you're okay. just helping me out. So don't go anywhere, <laughs> because when we come back, she's going to assemble this bad boy so we can make it for Easter. So excited. That's perfect. Thanks, Charlotte. We'll be right back.